Okay. Most kids will respond if you just tell them what you want and then praise them when they do good, they'll follow. You know, again, the model works. You know, what, 70 to 80% will, will do what you ask of them if you let them know what your expectations are. They have to know. They can't read your mind. They can't second guess what, what your classroom rules are, what your expectations are. Um, that's how I get them to comply, is set the expectations and give them praise when they, when they exhibit it or when they do the behaviors that you're wanting them to do. Um, again, I, it's about the relationship between the, the student and myself. It's about what kind of uh, uh, environment my classroom is. It's uh, bright, it's cheery, it's, it's warm. It's, um, I, I try to make sure that they know that this is their classroom as much as it is mine. Um, and then using those universal supports. I mean, it's, it's having that is at my back, knowing that that's expected in every classroom. They know, they know what to expect in every classroom, that if they go up to A school you know, for a special activity, the same expectations are there. Uh, those supports of getting to go to the store that every other student on in this facility gets to go to. Every student gets to participate in activities. No student is excluded. So it's, it's awesome to be able to rely on those types of supports. Um, and then when it comes down to your own classroom, it becomes a much easier job. It's, it's tools in the toolbox. You know, before we relied on, if I had a misbehaved student, um, I reminded him of the consequences. I don't have to do that anymore. Um, occasionally, I might need to, but for the most part, they already know what my expectations are. They're very well aware of the consequences, and it's a very simple communication. And they know what's expected, and if it's not done, then, you know, they also know that um, it's not the last, uh, that, that, they're, that they know me well enough to know that um, I will try to do all that I can to help them with this issue or with, you know, an ongoing issue, that I'm on their side. And it's their, it becomes their choice whether they want to use the resources that I have to help them or not. 